All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the Unboxing Authority. It's too cold outside to be in my video studio, so we're in here today on the freezer top with this nice red blanket here, doing a review for you on some camera sunglasses. Now, this video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call or Call or email me directly with your service name and address and contact information like a telephone number and an email address. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son. These are the best camera sunglasses that I think I've done a review on so far. At least that's what it seems like. So let's get these open. I've already opened them just to verify that they work and just set the time and date and program them because that all has to be done on the computer. And I also want to, you know, look over the directions. So I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time in front of the camera, you know, not knowing what to do with these. So, all right. So the box shows that it can handle, it can do 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second, or 720p, 30 frames per second. I don't know how you switch between them. Um, it says, depends on whether it's the rubber or the UV cure. Well, this one on Amazon says that it does 1080, so we're going to stick with that. Um, black camouflage, others, up to 32 gigabytes of storage. So I have a 32 gigabyte chip in here, but you never really know on these products if they support higher uh, amounts of memory until you stick it in and find out. Um, that's just the way that they are. Of course, you want to make sure it's class 10 memory, at least, or faster. Um, We've got instructions here. I checked these instructions out. They're not the best instructions in the world uh, for the operation of this thing, but they do work and you can figure it out yourself. And we'll talk about that. Comes with a micro USB cable, which is what you need to charge it and to transfer data if you're gonna transfer it directly from these uh, this device. You open this up, you get a cleaning cloth, block cleaning cloth, a case, and it comes in plastic so that hopefully it survives coming to you. Now, it has very soft um, nose guard in here. It's comfortable, not a problem so far. Uh, we've got my micro SD cards already installed. That doesn't come with the product. Here's your, your charging port there, and there's LED light. Now, that LED light only tells you whether it's charging or not, and whether it's on or off. The LED light that you want to look for to know if it's recording or not is actually in the end. And this, unfortunately, can be a giveaway if you're trying to record without people's knowledge. So you may need to plug this with a black something, you know, put some tape over or whatever, but you're gonna need to be able to see it to know whether it's recording or not. So that's that's important. Um, of course, it is, they are sunglasses, so um, they may not work great inside, at least as far as you being able, not the camera can record fine, but you being able to see like your phone and stuff and use it might be difficult and of course they're non-prescription. Um, over here this does nothing. This is the button that does everything. So the first thing you do is you just hold this down and then there'll be a blue light in here that comes on. Let's you know it's on. Now it's flashing so it automatically started recording which is pretty much what the instructions describe. Okay. If I tap the button again I have a steady blue light which means it's no longer recording. Okay. And if I tap it again it resumes recording. If I tap it again, it stops, and then if I hold it down, it should power off. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do some test footage with this to let you guys see how it works indoors, outdoors, and, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. And hopefully, once I'm done with this video, me and my grandma can go bake some cookies because I'm sure she'll enjoy that. All right. All right, so this is how the sunglasses look when I'm wearing them on my face. All right. So there we go. An easy operation. Got my buttons that I can press. Um, the correct button for me is going to be on the left side and I want to be able to see, oh, it is recording. I think I saw it flashing. No, it's just on. Okay. We're going to tap it. So I'm going to put them on. I'm going to tap the record button. 
and there we go. I am now apparently recording this camera. Now, the, the nice thing about these is, so far I'm not having microphone issues. Um, so whether it's me talking or someone else in front of me talking, it seems that the microphone is working uh, just fine. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and point it at myself, and we'll try that real quick and just see how they record, and then we'll go outside and record some things. All right, and there we go. I am now apparently recording this camera. Now, the, the nice thing about these is, so far I'm not having microphone issues. Um, so whether it's me talking or someone else in front of me talking, it seems that the microphone is working uh, just fine. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and point it at myself, and we'll try that real quick and just see how they record, and then we'll go outside and record some things. All right. All right, so I'm now recording myself with the 1080p glasses, okay? And so we're recording 1080p with the glasses, and it seems to be working pretty good, hopefully, and the microphone and everything, we'll try that out. All right. All right, cold winter day. Now one thing with other cameras I've used, my regular cameras, is, is they always seem to record dark when I go outside in the winter because it's so bright. They adjust for the brightness and everything seems to be dark when I play it back, but I guess we'll see on these ones how the video looks. And I'll do raw video without any enhancements on this so that you can see how it will actually look. Um, so, anyways... I guess we'll walk around a little bit. I just have my slippers on here that I got. Somebody sent me these. And thanks to having everything shoveled, I'm able to wear them. So final comments on these, make sure we're still recording. Let's see. Okay. So final comments about these glasses. Um, they're actually a lot better than what I thought. I can read my phone, although I don't have my prescription glasses on, so that makes it tricky, but I can see the screen very well through these glasses, so they're not too dark. They're better than, well, other ones I've reviewed. Um, I've tried out. Uh, the other thing is, I don't, I haven't had any problems with them. They're very, um, they look like glasses. You know, they don't have any bulging things on them, no batteries hanging off, nothing like that. They, they look completely normal. So, and it's 1080p, you know, resolution. So, I can't really complain anything about these, um, glasses whatsoever. Um, whether you're doing sports, action, um, unboxing stuff. Or maybe you just want to uh, record what's going on for your safety. Um, you know, these seem like really good glasses for that. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And just bless you. Please click the links in the description of the video. Consider to our Patreon. Go to ChristianCourts.com and all other fun stuff. All right, God bless you. Bye.
so hopefully you guys saw the video of me cruising around on the bike. I'm pretty sure I did that. Boy, that reflector's reflective in the camera, isn't it? Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you guys my lighting. I got my lighting all done. So there's the uh, just the standard running lights and the uh, license plate right there. Got the license plate light going. You can see it there. Okay, so that's sweet. And you can find that on howtobuildamoped.com, that part there. I got it for free. Somebody sent me that. And I've been waiting a long time to install it. It's probably a year since somebody sent me that to review. And uh, I thought, well, I'm going to have to build a motorbike for this or get an electric bike or something.